Hello cookies, it's Siri. I'm back and today I'm bringing you this ripped horn painting style devil. So this look started out really bad and there was like lots of complications but in the end it was okay and I'm really happy about how it turned out. First I'm pouring some thermoplast into hot water and yeah this is just the first disaster of many and now I'm just molding it into a horn shape. Then I'm just uh, inserting all the screws inside and then I'm going to wait for it to dry and, you know, be opaque. Creolan barrier foam that I'm applying all over my forehead to protect it against liquid latex. Taking some Creolan liquid latex and uh, cotton, I'm just starting to make a base for the horn. And now I'm trying to basically stick the horn to the base and flatten the base to make it a bit more seamless and natural. This is the part that takes a long time because I'm just holding it until it dries. And here I was really unhappy because that one there on my right and your left was, was taken, but the other one was just like falling all the time, even after two hours. So it didn't work. So instead I was like, okay, I'm going to take some plasticity from Creolan and create a ripped kind of effect horn so it's like okay so this devil has been attacked and then now the horn is like ripped and now I'm just creating the hole and I'm flattening everything with my spatula and I'm flattening again on the other side as well. Taking the yellow from the Criolan Aquacutter palette I'm dabbing it all over my face, my neck and my ears. Grabbing the black I'm starting to kind of contour my cheeks so I'm creating some hollow cheekbones maleficent style. And then of course I'm contouring around my nose and then where my eyebrows should be. This time I'm making a round nose. Onto the lips, since this is supposed to be a painting, I'm just outlining the lips and it really looks bad. It looks like I have some moustache going on, but keep in mind that if it were a white canvas, there would be like nothing there, like no lips. So now I'm just trying to create them and adding some contouring where it's needed. Now I'm creating the outline of the eyes as well. Grabbing this light blue, I'm creating some light feathery strokes and here the key is to have it kind of uh, not too wet so that you can have visible strokes and not to push too hard so that people see that okay it's kind of like a painting because I see some brush strokes here. Back to the black, I decided to create some more shadows on the neck because it was lacking, well I forgot. And taking the blue again, I'm just adding some more blue on the neck and at this stage it doesn't look really good, but believe me, it will look much better later on. This look is horrible. <laughs> I'm a failure. Onto the white now, I'm just using it as a highlight. So I'm using it where I would usually highlight my face if I were doing a beauty makeup. And this is the time I started to realize like, okay, this is actually not going to be so bad. So let's just keep on going. Who is she Cosmetics Pink Venom as blood and I'm just dotting it where the screws hit the horn so that it's like it looks like it's blading. And then I'm just going to fill everything like here the hole where the horn has been ripped and torn and then I'm just going to create some blood dripping from it to make it more natural and this is the fun part because you just get to play around really. And this is also when John decided to give me a kiss. And uh, this is some glitter that is a no-name glitter. It's just some glitter that was like light green, gold, light greenish. You don't need a specific glitter, it just needs to be not pink and not darker than the pink blood. Jeffree Star Cosmetics Prom Night that I'm using as a mascara and eyeliner on my eyes as well. I just put on a wig and the look is complete. I hope you cookies enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't want to miss all the upcoming videos. And until next time, I'll see you cookies at the next video. Bye bye! Oh, and a little bit of dancing. Woohoo!